because it comes in upside down you can then use this rotate button to rotate it this is the final assembly but this is the first part the collar that we're gonna do this is a section view of the collar in the top view some things to note before we start um, chamfers at 45 degrees and 1 16th of an inch so you have to look at right here this edge right here and this edge are both chamfered um, and they give you your hole through the middle on this top view and then the rest of the dimensions in the section view so what we're going to do is we're going to come into inventor we're going to start a new part and while that's loading I can explain when you're looking here you can see which way this is supposed to be oriented so we're going to want to use the top view to draw this so when we're in here we're going to start a 2D sketch we're going to use the top work plane for whatever reason it rotates and makes it say top to the right so I like using this little arrow to make sure the word top is straight up and down I'm going to start by drawing a circle from the center point here and it is a diameter of two and a half so I'm gonna do this outside diameter first right now I'm on radius to get back to diameter I'm gonna right click as I'm drawing my circle I'm gonna come down here to diameter and again that is two and a half so I can do two space bar one divided by two to get two and a half I hit enter now I'm just gonna hit the finish sketch button now and I'm gonna make just one solid piece I'm gonna hit the extrude button and this is supposed to be extruded up a distance of one and a quarter so I'm gonna change this to one and a quarter in my distance section I'm gonna go direction one to go up and I'm gonna hit OK now I have this solid piece here um, I could do one of two things. I could make the hole through the middle or I could do this little um, lip right here. So I'm going to do that. So how to get that is I'm going to draw a circle that's two and then a circle that's two and a half. And I'm going to use that little um, face, the little ring right here to extrude down a quarter inch. So using my view cube, I'm going to go to the bottom of this object. I'm going to use the start 2D sketch and I'm going to click on that face and I'm going to draw two circles my first circle being two and a half inches diameter and then my next circle is going to be two because so I want to get a circle here and a circle here now that I have that you can see right here this little part in between this circle and this circle that's what I want to extrude down to create that lip so if I finish the sketch I can use the extrude button and I can click just on this little part see how that highlights and I'm going to use direction 2 and I'm only going to cut it back a quarter of an inch so that way you can see it makes that lip and then I'm going to hit OK if you go to the view button or view tab I should say go to visual styles and turn on shaded with edges that'll help you really see the object a little bit better next we need to make a circle here in the middle that goes all the way through and that circle is one and a half inch diameter that goes all the way through the object so we're gonna go back to the 3d model tab create a 2d sketch click on this face draw a circle from the center one and one half I'm gonna finish that sketch then I'm going to use the extrude button to then use the cut method and my extent instead of using a distance I'm gonna say through all so that way it goes through the whole object it'll go through all the object as you can see I'm gonna hit OK now we can see that I have my object the only thing missing are my chamfers 
On our sheet it said chamfers are 45 degrees and 1 16th of an inch. We have two chamfers, one on the inside, one on the outside of this little lip. Underneath the fillet button there's a pull down menu. It's called chamfer. I'm going to select chamfer. If your screen looks like this, you want to use this little button to extend the dialog box. There's three different options to use. There's you know one distance, which would be equal. There's distance and angle, and then two distances that can be different from each other. We're going to use the second one, distance and angle. So our angle is 45 degrees, and our distance is 1 16th of an inch. Now pay attention to here where it says select the face. See how the, the little button face is highlighted blue? They're asking you to select the face. So either this face or this face because they're both involved. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to select this flat face right here. Now the word edges in the box edges is highlighted blue. I want this edge right here to be my chamfer. So I select that and you can see it made the 45 degree angle at 1 16th of an inch. I'm going to hit OK to accept it. So now I have that one. Now I need the one on this edge right here. So I'm going to use the chamfer button. It remembers the last command which was distance and angle. So it's already preset. If yours was not, simply put in 45 degrees and 1 16th. We're going to select this face and this edge. Hit OK or the check mark. And now you have your two chamfers. You have your collar in the proper um, proper plane, which is you know going straight up and down. And uh, we can use this for later.